Hey guys, what's up and welcome to iCode. Well, guys, in this ethical hacking for absolute beginner series, we're going to be performing every attack using an operating system called Kali Linux. So for that reason, of course, we're going to be needing Kali Linux. And in this video, I'm going to be explaining you how to install Kali Linux. So let's get started. Okay. So guys, we're going to actually install Kali Linux as a virtual machine. We're going to use it as a virtual machine and not as a host machine. And we're going to actually use a virtual box so that we could install Kali Linux as a virtual machine. And guys, if you don't know what virtual box is, okay, let me just explain you what is a virtual box and what is its use. So virtual box is something like, you know, you can actually use number of different operating systems in a single computer, but as a virtual machine. So it's basically something like using number of different laptops with different operating systems. But here we're going to use all different operating systems in a single computer as a virtual machine so that we could work on it parallelly at a time in the same computer. And that is the use of virtual machine. And here in this video, we're going to be actually installing Kali Linux operating system as a virtual machine using VirtualBox. So for that reason, first we're going to need to install VirtualBox, Oracle VirtualBox. So let me just show you how to install Oracle VirtualBox so that we can install Kali Linux later into that virtual box and make Kali Linux as a virtual machine. Okay, got it? Okay, let's just install virtual box for now. So, open your favorite browser. So, for me, it's Google Chrome. So, let me just open it and right here, go to google.com. Go to google.com. And right here, type in Oracle virtual box. Oracle virtual box. Okay, Oracle virtual box and right here the first link tap on it And right here go to downloads tap on downloads and here you can actually install virtual box So the present version of virtual box is 5.1.14 and I'm gonna be downloading virtual box for OS X host because I'm using Mac and If you are using Windows just tap on this link and it will be downloaded so I'm just gonna be tapping on this so it started downloading great so guys it's now downloaded and right here I can see the file and what you need to do is just double tap on this so double tap on this and it's opening great and right now what you need to do is you need to double tap on this virtualbox.pkg so just double tap on this and continue continue install and here you need to type password for your Mac so let me just type in my password. I'm not going to be saying it out, so it's secret, guys. So install software. And guys, if you're using Windows, what you need to do is probably you will be getting .exe file when you actually download it. And uh, what you need to do is just double tap on this and keep on tapping on next so that, you know, at the end, the virtual box will be installed in your Windows. That's it. And for Mac, I just showed it to you. So what you need to do is just close it. And guys, now virtual box is actually installed in your host machine. And for me, okay, let me just show you where is my virtual box. Okay, let me just tap on this launch pad so that I could find my virtual box. And there it is. Here is my virtual box. So tap on the virtual box. So there it is. Yeah, this is my virtual box. And guys, if you can see here, there's something like Haroop and Kali Linux in my virtual box, which you may probably not see in your virtual box. And that is because you know you may be using VirtualBox for the first time but for me I'm using VirtualBox since a long time I've installed this Haroop and Kali Linux operating systems you know like before two months or three months and that's the reason you're actually seeing it right here in my VirtualBox and for you I think it's empty you can actually see nothing because nothing is actually installed till now into your VirtualBox okay so guys as we now install VirtualBox Right now, we need to install Kali Linux so that we could use Kali Linux as a virtual machine. And now let me just show you how to install Kali Linux as a virtual machine using this virtual box. Okay, so let's go. So open up Google Chrome again. Okay, not Google Chrome, any of your favorite browsers, okay? For me, it's Google Chrome, okay? Well, so open a new tab, okay? So right here, type in Kali Linux. So Kali Linux, enter and tap on the first link. HTTPS 
semicolon slash slash www.kali.org and that is what you should see on your search bar https okay okay oh it's loading for a long time and what's that reason my internet connection is too slow and i hate it okay this is the website that you should actually see okay this is the website so it's still loading okay it's loaded now what you need to do is tap on downloads download kali linux so tap on download kali linux and right here what you need to do is just scroll down just scroll down and right here you can actually see kali linux vmware images kali linux virtual box images and kali linux hyper v images and right now as we install virtual box we need to download images for our virtual box obviously so just tap on this and right here tap on kali linux 64 bit v box that is virtual box so tap on this link and this will be downloaded so guys just pause the video and after the download gets finished come back again and just tap on the play button and guys now the download is finished and right now here you can see the downloaded file kali linux 2016.2 virtual box md4.ova so this is the downloaded file and what you need to do now is just double tap on this that's it so double tap on the file and here it's saying the name of the operating system is Kali Linux, product Kali Linux and product URL vendor and that's it. So what you need to do is just tap on this import button. So import, that's it. So right now it's actually importing Kali Linux operating system into your virtual box so that you could use Kali Linux as virtual machine. So let's just wait so that it could complete its importing process. And guys, now the importing is done. And right now you can actually use your Kali Linux virtual machine. But before that, let me just show you some settings. So just tap on the settings button. Make sure that the Kali Linux operating system is selected. And later, tap on this settings button. And right here you can see the name of your operating system and it's Kali Linux. And if you go to system settings, here you can see the base memory given is 2048 MB. That is 2 GB. And that's quite enough. No need to change it. And if you go to processor, you can actually change the number of processor working. And here it's given 2. And that's quite enough. No need to change it as well. So if you go to display, no need, storage, audio, network. Yeah, I'm going to be talking about this particular section in the upcoming video. That is probably next video. For now, just close it. Okay. And now let's start our Kali Linux machine for the first time. So just tap on this green button. It looks awesome. So just tap on this. And there you go. You now you need to type in some username and password so that you could actually get into your Kali Linux virtual machine. So let me just close this and the username is root R O O T and password will be reverse of root that is T O O R T O O R that's it sign in. So let me just resize it. And guys this is Kali Linux and here this is the operating system that we are going to be using to perform every attack from now in this ethical hacking for absolute beginner series. So guys in the next video I am going to be actually giving you an overview about this particular Kali Linux operating system so that you could get familiar in using it. Okay and guys if you have incurred any kind of error when installing this virtual box or Kali Linux just comment down below and I will respond to you as fast as I can and that's it guys. That's it for this video. Stay motivated. We're going to be learning a lot of hacking attacks in upcoming videos. So you're going to be learning a lot. So just stay with me. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll be back with another awesome ethical hacking video. Goodbye.